Hi everyone, hi, welcome back. Today I will do something different. I will explain it in the process, so let's get started. I have here a 28 by 20 inch canvas. I will wet it first and then I will use some pastel colors and make a beautiful background blend and I will let it dry. Now it's nice and wet, let's drop some colors and make a beautiful background blend. I have a light magenta, I want it quite soft today. So let's go with this. <laughs> That's not really soft, very vibrant. <laughs> I'm not aiming for a perfect blend here. Just want a soft background. Alright, well, this is looking very good. Very really good. I will let this dry, fully dry, and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back, and this is fully dry. So what I will do now is I will add another layer of paint on top of this, and then scrape it away with my wedges. I wanted to use titanium white, and I have these big jars, two of them. Can't find them anywhere <laughs> where I left them. No clue, so I will be using a Naples yellow green. I love that color as well, and I think that will be great. I will start wetting this first. Alright, so let's add this color. Because it's so wet, it's becoming very soft. But that's totally fine because I can keep painting over it and I first want to see how the scraping goes. So what I will do now is I will take one of my wedges and start scraping off the paint here. And this is the Catalyst Wedge 03. And I have here Catalyst Wedge 4. I think I will start with that one. Oh, I like that. I think if I used white, it would be more visible, but we can zoom in. <laughs> All right, here we go. I wish the background was just a little bit darker, but um, hey, I'm really liking this. I will let this dry and I'll be back. This dried beautiful subtle. I'm loving it. The colors are so my taste. What I will do now is I will start wetting the canvas again and then just work on it like I do normally on my botanical works. But of course, I already sketched out a little bit of the composition. So I will be going with the flow with that. First, let's wet the canvas. And I really hope this canvas is dry enough. So I've been thinking about this because it's quite hard to think about the color palette that I want to use. So I was thinking, let's start slow. And I will be using only the colors that I use in the beginning to start the gradient. Now um, this is the yellow that I used. So the thing is, I do want to keep, of course, the background here, but it also needs to be a little bit covered up, so it is truly the background. Let's use some of that pink. Let's mix it a little bit with the yellow, because then it creates this color. I feel this part can be just a vibrant yellow. I want to do that. <laughs> I 
what I can do now, of course, is also use my wedge in this part. Yeah. So now, shall I make this more of that pink? might be way too harsh, but I can use this one again. Alright, let's leave this part. I will turn the canvas. Alright, so now I want to work more with the green colors, because we're keeping the gradient. But this is quite a risk because I'm <laughs> really liking that part. There needs to become a lot more contrast. But I always start with lighter colors and build it up, or mostly. Alright, so I'm having a hard time to bring this all together, really. I do want to bring more contrast here before I continue with the green side because I'm not feeling that yet. Alright, so maybe some sap green. So now we're getting somewhere because this is now, you know, creating the balance. It's still so hard to choose the right color. This is truly making this design right now. Like maybe making a little one here too. I still hope you guys are seeing you know, the background that I created first, because there are so many details in this piece, it's, it's fantastic. So I'm gonna add the white. Yeah, let's, let's see if I can use some white that will be pretty. Oh, it is bringing more contrast. been checking this painting out for a while and I love love the details this part especially and this part but the composition is not right it's just not right so I've been thinking and I want to build out this line and this line I want to start with this one I will try to use the same colors in this one So now I'm kind of overlapping uh, these details here. Um, I think that can work out fine. Let's do you something like brown. For me, it's coming more together now. Well, you know what? Let's start adding some whites. <laughs> Going a bit overboard. Don't like this part. So 
this painting is turning out very different than I imagined. <laughs> so overworking this part okay let's leave it let's leave it i'll bring you up for the close <laughs>